Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Electric Bike Journal. You're probably wondering, what the heck is COB LED light technology? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about that because the new Blackburn grid lights use COB LED technology and it's a great way to be seen when you're riding around town. Well, first off, what does COB stand for? COB stands for chip on board. That means that each one of these lights uses a LED chip on the actual board itself. COB lights are brighter and they have a wider view angle. That means when you're out riding around town and you want to be seen by other drivers, cyclists, pedestrians, lights like this, the COB technology, allow for a brighter visibility, a wider visibility, and Blackburn has you covered for just about a 360 degree view angle. All of the lights in the grid series have an IP65 rating, so they are waterproof and dust sealed, so they will last a very long time, and they are all USB-C rechargeable, which is extremely convenient as most things are switching over to USB-C if they haven't already. The front lights use a white LED and the rears use a red LED. Down here on the markers, they use an amber, which is a nice soft color to be seen from the side and something familiar with cars, as we know that marker lights tend to be that amber color. In the grid series, there are a few different options that you could choose from with very affordable prices. Up front, we have the grid twofer. This is both a headlight or a tail light. And if you double click it, it will switch to red. So then you can mount it on the rear. Uh, what's nice about this light and all of the lights is that they use a very nice silicone strap to wrap it around. And the headlights and taillights also come with a clip. So if you have a bag up front or on the rear and you can't access a good firm rigid point to mount it to, you can use that clip to slide it in. All of the lights in the grid series have four different modes from a high solid, a constant pulse, a flash strobe and an eco flash and depending on which light you can range from one and a half hours of use to upwards over 22 hours in that eco mode as mentioned the twofer light here has a clip on the back side so if you wanted to mount it onto a handlebar bag or onto a seat bag there's a nice clip to hook that in a lot of the blackburn bags have like a loop system so they are designed to work specifically with that um, but other bags i'm sure have options and you could even probably clip that to your belt or your pack if you have a backpack on the two for light has this nice amber ring around the edge of it which helps cut down the glare and diffuse that light for you as the rider when you're riding around and helps to add a little bit of visibility to help be seen from the side these side marker lights are that nice amber color and you can see here individually all the different led chips on that board they have a nice silicone strap to loop around and secure that to your fork and has a very convenient button to switch between those different modes very bright that constant pulse the high flash strobe and that eco flash which will get you the most runtime but you can tell is a little bit dimmer well if you're someone that commutes daily or rides your bike around town all the time especially in low light the grid series is a great option something to look at they are all very affordable $55 and down they do have pack options for a headlight and a taillight or with the side markers or you can buy them all individually and we'll have all those links down below in the description. As a whole, we are big fans of visibility when riding around town and being seen by other cars specifically. The inclusion of the marker lights to add to the fork is a great option and not many companies are making a marker light. So it's really cool to see Blackburn add this to their collection. They were really thinking about us that ride around town and commuters and this is definitely something that you should be checking out for the price point and everything being roughly $55 or less. They are very nice, well-built lights. They are IP65 rated, as I said before, and they're gonna hold up in the elements. We've been riding them around, getting them splashed and soggy, and they're just as bright as they were the moment we hooked them up. Each one of these lights, uh, the power button itself is backlit, and when it's green, it means you have 
enough charge and it's ready to go and that light will change colors to indicate that hey buddy might be time to charge it up but for most people they should last a couple weeks at a time especially if they're only riding a few miles or less in the low light or in the dark um, which is for the most part a lot of people's commute well thank you so much for watching if you're interested in any of these lights be sure to head over to the website we'll have a full write-up on them with all of the specs of course the price and links to Blackburn for you to order them if you want to add them to your bike. Again, we're big fans of visibility. These new lights are very nice and bright and we're gonna continue to run them as we continue to ride around town. Also, if you haven't seen yet, we are doing two bike giveaways right now. We have an Aventon Pace 500 and a Jason EB7. These are two electric bikes that we are just giving away and there are videos on the channel for you to go write a comment, like that video, and subscribe to this channel, and that's how you get entered in to win. We wanna send those out to a new home as soon as we can, so go check out those videos, sign up to win. We'll see you in the next video.